So we are doing a DIY Christmas project. We're going to be making some baby food jar snowmen. Um, you just need a few things. We've been collecting baby food jars for a while. Um, I got some felt. This is for to make a hat. And then I don't know if I want to use the, the orange for the nose or if I want to try and use these markers for the nose. There's an orange in there. I got some paint so that we can either paint it or use that marker for the eyes and the buttons and then I'm going to make a scarf either we're going to crochet some scarves or I'm going to use some leftover fleece so you just want to take three jars and um, take your hot glue gun and then just glue them all together like this and I've already started them so you just want to glue three on the top and then we're going to decorate them Okay, so now I'm just painting black around the edges here um, for just the top one, just to kind of hide that because we're going to be making the hat on the top and it's going to look like this. Um, once the paint dries and then I'm putting black felt on the top, kind of making it look like a top hat. So we're just going to do it to all of your jars that you're going to do and then we'll come back and do the next step. So I just got these plain black sheets of felt from Michaels. And I'm going to take my lid that's been painted just around the edge and I cut a little square that's just the size of it and I'm going to hot glue um, the jar lid and then I'm just going to set it on there and when it dries I'm just going to cut the circle around. I wanted to make sure to put enough glue for it to stick. So just take your top and then stick this on and just press it down and then I'll just cut around just like this and then that will be the whole um, completed top hat and if there's any pieces that I missed with the paint I'll just kind of touch it up like you can see some of the silver here and I'll just kind of touch it up as I go um, but that's the top hat so it basically looks like this so far. And then we're going to do, um, I got a um, black paint pen and I'm going to do the eyes and the mouth and then the buttons and then I'm going to cut the nose out of some orange belt and hot glue it on and then we're going to tie a cute scarf on it. So next we're going to take our um, paint pen or you can just use black paint if you want to. Um, this is just easy for me since I'm going to do mine in dots. And we're just going to make the snowman face and the buttons on the middle. Um, you can make your face any way you want, but this is just how I'm going to make mine. I'm going to put two eyes at the top, and then I'm going to do the mouth. And I did my mouth just like that, and then we're going to make... Three buttons going down. You just have to be careful whenever you open up the jar. Sometimes it doesn't realign back. And then I cut some orange noses out of felt, and I'm just gonna glue glue it on. With the hot glue. Just put a little bit of glue on it. Keep it on there. And then um, just glue it on there. And then it's going to look like this so far. And then we're, I'm going to finish them all up. And then we can start to um, fill them. And then we're going to make our scarves. Alright, so now that we have all of our noses glued on, um, we're just going to go ahead and assemble the insides. And this is how it's going to look. So I just have them all taken apart. And in the head of the snowman gets the marshmallows. And we are using mini marshmallows in there. So you can, I mean, you could basically put anything that you want in these, but we are doing a hot cocoa concoction. Um, we got this giant uh, Swiss Miss from Sam's, and then we just got these little mini marshmallows from Target. And then we're going to put some peppermint candies in the bottom, but you can also put any kind of candies in the bottom. So just stuff your top full with the mini marshmallows, and then go ahead and grab your snowman hat. 
And some of these are a little hard to put on, but if you can kind of get it in the groove, it'll go on straight. So in the middle um, where your buttons are, you're going to want to put your cocoa in. And then um, I fill this all the way up because I really like hot cocoa. You could put um, bath things in this would be nice if you make bath products. Um, and then just be really careful after you've done this. You, it's kind of difficult to get it lined back up again. But you could also um, go ahead and fill these and then decorate. And then um, and these, eight of these, fit in here. And then just go ahead and stick that on there. And then I took some remnant fabric from the craft store and um, cut little strips. And then I'm going to tie them around here for the scarf. And I just cut them longer and then I'm going to cut the excess off. And then that's going to be your snowman. Um, I think he's really cute and a little gift idea. Brendan's going to give these out to some of our older neighbor ladies, um, the grandparents and teachers. Um, it was easy and pretty cheap. All I had to buy was the felt, um, a marker, and then some black paint. But you could even skip the black paint if you want. Um, this bottom one is not painted and that's okay. And then this one is just covered by the scarf. Um, I believe this, the remnant was only like $2. And then the baby food jars were free after the baby ate them. And then I just got the orange felt, the black felt. But you could also paint the top if you didn't want to do the felt too. So that's it. It's DIY Baby Food Jar Snowman. Thanks for watching. Bye.